Are you serious? Are you serious? Guys, I've got a great word for it. Look, you're, you're an overcomer. I know we're in the last days, okay? I know it's the last days. The Bible told us what it'd be like. Matthew 24 absolutely breaks it down for us exactly what current world events will be going on in the last days. But do you realize that you're, there will be overcomers in the last days? Do you understand what it means to be one of the, vic, you know, have the victory, to be victorious in the last days, to live above the fray, to ride out the storm, to know in whom you believe? You know, one scripture says, I believe it's in Romans eight thirty one: if God be for us, who can be against us? Now, I understand that we're going to see wars and rumors of wars. And nations are going to rise against nations and kingdom against kingdoms. There'll be plagues and famines and pestilence and all kinds of commotions and apocalyptic events of a biblical proportion. But there's also going to be a glorious church rising in the last day, not hiding, rising. We're not survivors. We're thrivers. And here's what Jesus said. Now, Jesus realized then in St. John chapter 16, Christ realized that his hour was coming. He was being prepared to take the sins of the world to the cross. But he also knew that there had to be a message left behind for his disciples to carry on the great commission and the work of the Lord. Here's what he said in St. John 16, verse 31. Jesus answered them. He said, do ye now believe? Behold, the hour cometh. Yea, and is now come that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, I love the verse. So again, he says, these things I've spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace, because in the world ye shall have tribulation. There will be no doubt about that. Persecution, tribulation, conflict, wars, rumors of wars, famine, hunger, pestilence, Plagues, there's going to be all kinds of uh, apocalyptic chaos everywhere. But Jesus says, know this, that you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But in me, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. We're the overcomers through Christ because he's already overcome the world. So in the last days, the church doesn't need to hide, doesn't need to go into retreat. We don't need to try to barely hang on. We've got to quit this mentality. We've got to stop the stinking thinking. We are not survivors. We are thrivers. We are conquerors. We're more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens us. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And look, in the world you'll have tribulation. Jesus said he knew that, but he said, but but be of good cheer because I've overcome the world, all right? So he'll go with us all the way, folks. He's going to empower us. And I really believe that in the last days, without question, because I've read the Bible from one end to the other, and there's no question in the scriptures. When you go to the book of Joel, he tells you there's a bunch of apocalyptic events going to happen. But then he says, but I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters are going to prophesy. Okay, the old men are going to dream dreams, young men are going to see visions, and upon my servants and handmaidens I will pour out my spirit, thus saith the Lord. Look, you have nothing to fear, for the Lord hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound mind. We've stopped the stinking thinking, and we're getting ready to conquer every foe. So the church will rise up. The church will be glorious. We are the onward Christian soldiers marching as to war. With the cross of Jesus, we're going on before, okay? Uh, we're going to go marching into that city. Praise God for that. Um, please, if you're not saved, 
Give your life to Jesus Christ. I want you to be prepared to meet the challenges of the last days. It's going to be quite extraordinary, the mighty exploits that we're going to do in the name of Jesus and the power we will have. As the world falls apart, the church will rise up and get ready to go up. So you better keep looking up because your redemption is drawing nigh. I'll be back with more in just a little bit. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He is coming soon.